guys welcome or welcome back to the life of j mount rosa in today's video i'm going to give y'all a nursing school essential haul i started nursing school on monday january 8th and i am super excited i am starting an accelerated BSN program. I'm gonna show y'all all that I got and all that I feel like is important for you all to have too. So let's get into the haul. So the first thing is a computer. Of course, in any program, you're gonna need a computer. It does not have to be a Mac. It can be an HP, a Chromebook, whatever, but you're gonna need a computer for sure. The second thing is an iPad. You really don't need an iPad, but I feel like if you can afford one, then it's helpful because you can write your notes in here. I have good notes. I feel like that works. And y'all, hold on. Look at my vision board. It's super cute. Super cute. All 2024, my goal is to pass the NCLEX in December. That's my goal. Graduate and pass the NCLEX. I have good notes right there. I already have all my classes. What is that saying? Nursing concepts, patho, mental health, clinical reasoning, health assessment, and pharmacology. My notebook colors are the same as my binders. So I also did get six binders, one inch. I'm going to be at school all day, like from eight to five most days. So it's like, what if my iPad dies and I have a charger, but I'm not sitting by a plug? So I always bring binders with me as well. And at my school, we do ebooks which I feel like is very good because who wants to be carrying six big old books around with them all day? That's bad for the back. So here are all of my books in this app. And I also need to download the David's Drug Guide so I can have that as well. But yeah, the iPad, it just has everything. Like all that you need in this one little thing, you got Word, my Blackboard app for school, Outlook, all of that. So an iPad to me is essential, but like I said, if you can't get an iPad or if you just feel like it's not important, then don't get one because you don't really need one. It just makes the process easier. But I do encourage everyone to write out their notes. If it's on a piece of paper, type into me. It doesn't help me. It doesn't help me retain information. So writing things out on a piece of paper or your iPad or in a tablet is helpful. And that brings me to my Apple Pencil. This is a... I don't know if it's the first gen or second gen, but this is the one that you plug into the charger right here. And then I have this little gripper so I can protect my fingers and not hurt it while I'm riding. So yeah, and I got this little gripper off Amazon. It comes in different colors, but I did green because that matches my iPad. Like what? And right there, you really can't see it, but that's a calendar. Shout out to my boyfriend. He got it for me a while back. But it has like Bible scriptures in them, like the Psalms, and that's very encouraging. But I wrote my day-to-day -day schedule on there. I'm gonna insert some pictures on here as well. So I feel like the calendar is important. I use that calendar to show me what days I go to this class, what time I go to this class. So that's what that calendar is for. And then I have a whiteboard right here. And the whiteboard, it shows the homework assignments that I have to do. My pharmacology teacher is the only teacher who updated the blackboard and put the syllabus in there. So I wrote all the assignments. I also got this planner. I got it from Target. It's super cute, 2024. One thing that I like about this planner is, let me show y'all. I like that it has lines and it has a lot of space for me to write what I need. And also over here, it has the notes. So right here I could write the important things such as tests that are going to be in January and so forth and so on. So a planner is essential because you need to know when this is due, when you have an exam, what time you want to study, all of that. I feel like if you have it in the planner and stick to it, it's going to make the process easier and it's good to be organized. Okay. Organization is the best. Also, this just came in the mail today. It's a stethoscope holder. I got it in pink. That's my favorite color. In here, you could put like your little scissors, pins, something else right here. And then the stethoscope goes right there. I feel like this is essential because you want to protect your stethoscope and you can put all of your pens and pencils right here but you can just put that on your scrubs. At my university, we have to wear scrubs every day to school. I got my scrubs from Scrubtastic. Um, I got different brands 
whichever ones fit me because I am a tall girl and that felt comfortable. But most of them are Grand Cherokee. Yeah, so at my school you have to wear Hunter Green. <laughs> yeah. All right, another thing that I feel like is essential is a clipboard for when you are in lab, clinicals, um, you're gonna need a clipboard so you can write things down, of course. And also, and I can open this, but I still have the plastic on it. I don't wanna open it right now. But when I open it, I can also put my iPad in there as well as papers, pencils, all of that. Well, actually you open it down here. I feel like if you do get a clipboard, get one like this. Also, some people get the foldable ones, but who wants their paper to be wrinkled? Like, no, so get this. I feel like this would be good. But, I mean, get what you think is best for you, okay? Also, I got Sharpie, a whole bunch in different colors because for me, in order for me to memorize certain things, or not even memorize because nursing is not about memorization, you really gotta know it. But in order for me to study well, I need to have a lot of colors because colors, it makes things pop out. For example, yellow can be the most important. Pink could be like a subtitle leading into something else that's important. So all of the highlighters are going to have an important task. So that's why I got different color highlighters for when I'm writing on my paper and whatnot. I also got different color gel pens so they can match the highlighters so everything could be in sync. But Pens and highlighters are essential. Of course, they don't have to be colorful, but I feel like that is going to help it make things pop out. Also, got some pencils. Um, you need pencils. And I have regular black pens as well. Also, this is definitely important. I have a stethoscope. My boyfriend got me this for Christmas, and I am so grateful for that because was so sweet she got me a pink stethoscope it's my favorite color it's really cute this is the litman classic three definitely in nursing school you're going to need a stethoscope but the thing is the alumni donate stethoscopes every year so i'm just going to use the stethoscope Ooh, that's a word right there i'm just going to use the stethoscope that the school provides while at school and once i graduate i'm gonna use this one because it's like honey i don't know i don't really want to practice with this one like i don't know so i'm thankful that he, thankful that he bought me this and i'm also thankful that my school is donating them to us because that's super sweet also you're going to need well this isn't essential but if you just want all of your things to be in order you're going to need a pencil pouch um yeah this pencil pouch is essential to me because i can fill all of my pens pencils highlighters markers all of that in here and it'll just be easy to grab especially since it stands up so i'll be able to see everything instead of trying to scope the scenery and figure out yeah so this one and most of all the things i have are from target or amazon i also have this little notebook so when I'm in clinicals or labs and the teacher's like, make sure to jot this down and I just don't have my iPad because I'm standing up over a patient or something. I'm just gonna pull this out of my um, scrub pocket and always have a pen or a pencil so I can jot down notes that the preceptor or my professor is saying that is important or what I feel is important and that I do not know. Also, a calculator. I know that we're going to have to learn how to do dosage calculations. I've been watching some YouTube videos and for the equations, I don't feel like you'll need a fancy calculator, but I've had this TI-84 calculator since middle school. I remember when my teacher was saying that this calculator is going to get you through college from middle school all the way to college and she was not lying. So shout out to her. So yeah, I still have my handy dandy ci 84 but y'all do not need a calculator like this y'all can just get a regular calculator from walmart target cbs walgreens so but i'm gonna bring this one because this is like the only calculator i have another thing i got was a lunch box um at my school we're gonna get our breaks of course we have food places and whatnot but i don't want to spend most of my lunch break in the line trying to get food when I can just pack my own lunch and the lunch that I pack is going to be healthier anyway and keep me on track on my healthy diet. I feel like that is essential. Pack your lunch, you're saving money and it can help you eat healthier if you make healthier food. So yeah, got a handy dandy lunch box. Also, the girls have been going crazy over the Stanley Cups lately. 
I mean, I understand you wanting a Stanley because they are cute. Um, that's why I got it because it's cute. And um, the water stays cold. The ice stays in there for about two, three days. But y'all fighting over Stanleys, it's not cute, and it's never gonna be cute over a cup. Like, get it together. But I got me a cute little Stanley. I got this around like October. I wanted the jug. I wanted it to be 64 ounce because that's the recommended amount of water you should drink a day. But this is the 40 ounce. But in school, in life, in general, you need to always stay hydrated. Drinking all that coffee, okay, it's cool. But that's a lot of caffeine. Water, it'll keep you energized and pumped up as well. And water is the best option. But yes, water, a jug, it does not have to be a Stanley. But having a water bottle with you every day, I feel like is very important. Oh, also, I mean, this is, this is like common sense y'all know to have a backpack right like how you gonna carry all this stuff without a backpack so got my handy dandy backpack i wanted a backpack that is like water resistant this is cloth so if it's raining it's gonna get soaking wet but as of right now i'm gonna just carry this backpack maybe next week sometime i don't know i might buy another one i would prefer you all get a backpack that's water resistant not cloth cloth it gets dirty easier quicker um if you get a stain i mean of course you can wash it but yeah but i had this backpack for a while it still looks good it still looks clean it has a lot of pockets a lot of components so yeah y'all that's it i feel like i'm forgetting something if i was forgetting something the freaking nursing shoes so um i got some hokas my brother bought me these for christmas shout out to him um i got the bondi xr Leather hosters, people were saying to get them a size up, so I got them in a 10. These are how they look, they're so cute and comfortable. So, yeah, we have to wear these to clinicals and to lab. Make sure your feet are comfortable and get some, get some sturdy shoes, some that will last you a while. I feel like these will last me a while, and they're leather, so I can easily clean them. So, yeah, y'all, I forgot to show these off. I feel like this is all of the essential things. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If I left anything out, I'll make sure to put it in um, the comment section below. If y'all have any questions, comments, or concerns, just let me know. And I'll make sure to answer them. To all the nursing hotties, all the nursing males, all of y'all. I hope y'all have a great, successful year. Thank you for tuning in on my video. And I hope y'all have a great semester. Bye.